Yo, it's your man with the plan, Mark Solars, with another episode of A Hat in Time. Uh, last time, we basically went to save Mafia Town from their big volcano. They, for some reason, bought, built below their, they built under, under their own city. And then also, we went to the bird cage. And in this episode, we'll continue the Alpine skyline. And while I'm at that right now, you see this fan right here? If you swing around on this fan on the PlayStation 3, or sorry, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 version, you get an achievement called Big Fan. So that's something cool. This, this, this is something to let you know because they happen off screen, and I forgot to tell you guys that that was a thing. But all right, let's continue from where we left off in this crazy-ass mailroom. Oh, my God. Um, first off, I'm going to go to the Rift Token Store because I promised I would do that. So I got another three ones. All right, let me see what I get. Please, daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Why the hell would I want that? Reroll. I love that. I like this one a lot for Hat Kid. For the Sprint hat, that's my favorite one. Look at that, that's so cool. Also, let me check my relics very quick. I might be able to do this too. Oh, I can do the relics too. Okay, let me go do that. It's in. That would be... Well, there's one in the other room. Let me get that one. Yeah, those ones would be a little bit cheaper. I think I've already unlocked those too. So there's one right here. Yeah, here we go. Get repaired for 50 pawns. Get a little jog on. Yeah, get my exercise on. Alright, let me see. Which one? What's the order of this one going to be? Let me see. You got to make sure you got the right order. Let me see. Who would it be? Wow, I did that right. Okay. It's a match. You have identified the relic from a strange planet. Like I said, I might not do these on screen. I did want to do the relic collection, but... I might do those off screen, maybe. Unless I... I might do one of them on screen if I need enough things to beat if I don't have enough hourglasses to beat the game but if I do then you're going to have to buy the game yourself I know aren't I evil bastard this is some there's a few things that are a little tedious that's one of those things that are a little tedious for me to be doing and it's going it's going it's not really that interesting like it's like going through the it's like going through like a optional boss section of a game it's like it's interesting once you get to the boss, but everything up leading up to it is just like, eh. Unless you guys really want me to finish it, then you can stay down in the comments. Or maybe I'll do another video at the end of the series and do all the time rifts if that's what you guys really want. Maybe I'll do that later. Yeah, I'll probably do that. That's what I normally do with all the extras. I do it at the end of, I do it like a little bit later at the end of the series. I want to. Okay, wait. Uh, I do not want that beam attack. See, those bads are bad badges are shitty. Ugh. Projectile. I don't even have enough for anything. Wait. Give me that. Ugh. Woo! Look at that. Like, they call me Sonic the Hedgehog. Woohoo! Wait, I don't have a choice. I don't know why they give me a choice. Wait, is this, wait, is this the right way? What, is it, what, what way is this? Oh, I don't have to do this one. I already did this. I think I already did this one. This is the way to this one. So I can go the other direction. <laughs> And no, you do not have to hold down the grapple button the whole time like you do on the normal ones. This one is auto. As soon as you press the square button, it's all you don't fall. That'd be kind of fucked up if you did, though. <laughs> I cannot remember when I did the goalpost for this. The horn for this one. Okay. A whole bunch of those fucking plants. 
I think I'll get hurt by uh this is you, what's up asshole? I wanna see what happens you get you get caught hit by one of these guys. Look what they're gonna do. What the fuck? You bitch slap me, bitch! Ah! Oh shit. Before he takes some life away from me. Did you see that? Oh yes. Oh shit, actually. I think I can do this. Let me see. Or I could do this. Okay, I don't think I can do it with the mask. With the what the mask has. The um cooldown, but maybe I can do it like this. So I'm up here. Alright, here we go. Uh, okay. Wow, fuck me. This, wow, that's a long ass fall. This game is not friendly to you with these falls. I gotta try that again. There we go. Look at that. Okay, more yarn the better. That's what I believe. That times the hot yarn. How close are we to it? Ugh, we only have eleven. We're not even like. I think we're like one third the way there. Almost, or like about one third the way there. Wait, what? Wait, what? I don't have the thing activated for the. Oh, it's over there. Okay, there we go. Oh, why did I do it like this? I would have. Oh. Good thing I looked through that thing. I would have been struggling there for a second. <laughs> Whoo! Look at that slow motion, girl. That's my baby girl. That was some slow motion. Oh my god, there's those fucking cats again, aren't they? Yo, hey, yo, it's your, it's, your, it's your man, it's your man with the plan, you know, Marks and Lars, come on, uh, you know, please be gentle, I, I love, I love it when you guys are gentle, come on, hello, housekeeping, 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 okay, I'm just gonna run now, oh my god, wait, let me take the sp sprint hat on here, I don't see anything coming up behind me yet. Oh, I see a shadow, I think. Oh my god, come on. I think they are really good at following you. See them? Oh, shit. Kitty at claws, meow. You still after me? Oh my fucking god, you bitch. Blow that horn. Look, she's she blew that so hard that she she didn't get off. Her, she she was floating in the air. The curly tail horn trail. Wow, that actually almost fucked me up. She getting that umbrella action on. Oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me, bitch. Don't even try that again. I dare you. They take your money too, I think, if they don't get you directly. See that? They don't always get your hat, but they get it often. No, oh, I don't even give a fuck about one pawn, bitch. Just take it. I think it does damage to you after they already have something, I think. Damn. Oh, the pawns. Oh, shit. Give me that money. Woohoo! This reminds me of some type of game. The windmill. One windmill. One little girl. One destiny. She climbs her way to destiny. 
one hook shot at a time. Spooder man. I was sometimes I like doing like the hat time stop sometimes. I don't do it, haven't been doing it this playthrough because it's a little annoying. Badges are totally in right now. That's what I've been told to say. By Satan. Yes, Satan says you love badges. We all love badges. Uh, I really don't want to get the projectile badge. I keep on forgetting he only has like four in stock left now, I think. I keep on going back there thinking that he has a different one. <clears throat> Okay, I remember I cheesed this one real hard last time I did it. Alright, let's make sure there's nothing on both sides. Or they make sure you can't climb up that fucking wall. They knew what they are fucking doing. I think this place has a decent amount of spiders in it. They help you platform, I think, most of the time, though. This is like this is like platforming. Like, if you have issues platforming, this is like the one spot in the game that's going to fuck you in the booty. Because this this spot is like the most heavy platforming spot in the whole game, in my opinion. Of course, yeah, I think it's the the toughest platforming in the game. I think, at least in my opinion. Oh my god. Of course. <laughs> Maybe try that. This is a good spot for the no boink, bo bonking badge. Because there's a lot of places you can bonk your head on. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Oh shit, wait. Yes! There we go. Opens up that little pathway that I just had issues with. Wait, is that? Can I? Would you land on those? No, I can't. Look at that platform, and I'm a G. Become me OG Willis. OG Willikers. Okay, that that's the way I just went to go up. Guess that wasn't all the. Pl the relic. Oh my god. I hate this. I think this has more relics in the PC version. No, it has the crayon thing. Oh my god. Well, let me get on the fucking ladder. I think that was a crayon box, I think. I have to check it. That's what it looked like, at least. Oh my god, it's one of those fucking spiders. Yo, how you doing? <laughs> What's up, bitch? <laughs> Time to hear the fuck your day up. <sighs> Look at that. Twinkle Toes, like they call it in the Avatar Loves Am Airbender. Ooh, Twinkle Toes. For those kids who aren't uh, two thousand, early 2000 or 90s kids, you need to watch Avatar Loves Am Airbender. It's like, especially if you like anime, you need to go watch that shit. Okay, so what should I do? Uh, I think I don't know what I want to do first. Let me scoot over here and get these out of the boxes. These boxes. Bam. <laughs> Let's 
two, three, four. Mm, pawns, pawns, pawns. All over the place. All over the place. In my face. Woohoo! Shit. This game trying to not give me my give me my daps. My sweet baps. Alright, come on. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is the same place I just started off. I was acting like it was somewhere new. I was acting like the new kid on the block. Woo! Look at that. That was nice and sexy. You've got to be kidding me. Alright. This is like one of those places that you'll get irritated if you miss one little step. This is like if you were a speedrunner, this is probably, if you couldn't skip this place, this is probably like the worst place to speedrun. This is like you just miss one little step or you take one too early of a jump, you're fucked. Or you have to start over and that's not that you're fucked. Whew, I slipped a little bit for some reason. What the hell? Oh, I get what they're doing. Alright. I like where this is going. If you fall from a certain point, you get a... a you get a lot. You lose a life. It's not lose. You lose. A, yeah, you lose a little bit of your life. Okay, there we go. I think there's something in there. There's no reason why that box is there by itself. Or maybe not. I love how you get a wind of the thing crossing your path. The um, fans. I see all spider webs. That means there are fucking spiders everywhere. Aren't there? Uh, this this game came a really good time in my life. This is like probably a little story I was gonna talk about last episode, but I decided not to. But uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I was in my first year of college. Not my first year. Like about the beginning of my second year of college, and I was just like. Man, this work is bullshit, man. I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this. And I was like, I was like, man, everybody's talking about this game hat in time. They're like, oh my god, this game is like the first successful Patreon game, whatever. It's so cool. I'm like, really? I'm like, okay, and let me go try test it out. And, oh my god, there's he's slobbering. I see slobber. What the hell? And I was like, okay, let me test this out. And they were like, oh, okay, here, here's the game. And I'm like, okay, this looks all right. And I was, oh my god, I fucked up. And they instantly knew too. Oh, okay, let me just. They, um, uh, and I was like, oh no, it's just, the school getting a little hard right there. And it's just like, uh, this is all this work and shit. And I was like, okay, let me just play this game. And put it on my little laptop. Actually, it's the same laptop I'm using. Or is it? Is it a laptop? Yeah, it's a laptop I think I'm using. I have right here that I'm using to record. And I'm like, oh, let me play this game. But the game was a little high setting. So I turned all those settings down really low and stuff, whatever. Because this is a gaming laptop. And I was just like, oh, okay, let me do that. And I, I, I was like, okay, I was have big expectations for the game. And it came out and it like... It made me enjoy gaming again. Like, it's one of those games. Like, there's a few games out there that make you enjoy gaming again. Ugh, I stepped in the egg. And it's just one of those games that helped me enjoy gaming again. Because it's just like, I don't know, I kind of got away from it because I was in school. And I was doing my work. And I was just getting tired of it. But it really helped me out. I really, I, that's why I like this game a lot. Because there's like, there's a very few games. That's why I said I like Sonic Unleashed a lot. I always talk about that game. Because it's one of those games, as like a boy, that I was starting to get tired of playing. Even bad Sonic games. just bad games. Some games that weren't bad or they were just always dull colored or were not that interesting. And that game came out and it just like, it revi revitalized me being a gamer. That's why I love that game. It's like everybody has their game, even if the, the game is bad, that like redefined gaming for them. 
Some people at Zelda, the first Zelda, for the old, this old cats out there. I'm like, but everybody has their own thing, their own story. That's why I like Sonic so much, regardless of what people say. And I, even though I'm not a super fan like other people, surprisingly, I just like playing the games. I don't like to, f I don't really make fan art or anything. I've only made like when I was, ah, son of a bitch. I hate. I couldn't lock. For some reason my jump didn't lock onto that fucking spider. What? Okay, I count that. Whatever. But yeah, that's why I like Sonic, and I like I like Zelda. Well, Zelda was kind of there for me too. I played Wind Waker. It was my first like real Zelda game. Oh my god! I always die on this spot for some reason. This is like the hardest spot for me. I don't know why. That spider hitting me just completely fucked up my day. That's what enemies that knock you off the platforms do like double damage because they knock you off and they hurt you. That one's hard to see. Something about the shadow for that one is really weird. I couldn't see it. But yeah, it's like that's why I said don't that's why I always make the point of that no one don't be mad when people don't like your favorite game, series, or franchise. Because there's always somebody out there who does and is normal. Because some people some people are discouraged by like Sonic fans, or people think Pokemon fans are too much. Or people think that this community is too much, or and they might be, but it's like you know, you don't have to be defined with that community, especially if you're not, if you really don't believe that you're one of those people. It's like, you don't, don't feel bad for being a fan of something. Oh my God. That was booty butt cheeks. I actually have to do a lot better on this part than I did last time. I actually died three times last time I did this on my own playthrough. But yeah, I remember I had the low settings on my, you know, it was lagging like a bitch. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh shit. I, I didn't, I can't see nothing. All right, this, this is the one. <laughs> okay, I can't see a lot of things. Oh my goodness gracious. One, two, three. So like, you know, li like what you want to like and, but make sure, you, you know, make sure you aren't like being an ass, do liking what you like too, because I know a lot of people who have that problem. Yeah, it's like, it's not the worst. Actually, give me a second. I know what I'm doing. Or do I not know what I'm doing? What the hell? I feel like I'm missing something. I'm missing something, aren't I? Oh, there we go. I see the platforms now. Took me a second. But like what you want to like. And you be the judge of when you're taking it too far or not. You, you'll know when you take it too far. You feel it in your heart. When you're taking you know, your obsession or your fan or whatever too far. You'll know. And no, fanfics aren't taking it too far. For those assholes who are out there right now saying that. You've cleared the windmill. Man, you want to sniff at this little pollen? Oh shit! Give me, ooh, give me the willies. <laughs> okay. I think that I want to end this episode right here. I think because this part right here is like the longest one, the Twilight Bell right there, and I think that I dedicate a whole episode to that one. And then after that, we're going to go and prepare for the final world. I think it's 25. I need 25 for the final world. So we're going to do this, the Twilight Bell, and then we're going to get one other one, probably from a time rift before we do that. Because I, I don't think that's the one that's going to be enough. But uh, I will see you guys. Well, like and or dislike the video. The it doesn't matter which one because it just helps to know that you guys are watching it. Also, hit the subscribe button and a little bell icon to join the rebellion. And uh, I, I really appreciate all the support you guys give to Sears. I see some new people coming through. Even if they're not subscribed right now at the point of the, I'm making this video. 
I, I really appreciate you guys coming through to see some of these videos. And I, I love you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.